Guess what? Now we are Venom. Hey everyone. Sorry I'd see that, but Dr. I'm Bad Prime 2.0 here, and or no climber if you're doing pretty well. And this is my thoughts slash review on the Venom movie that came out. And before I go any further, just to give you guys a heads up, this is a spoiler-free video, so no worries if you haven't seen the movie yet. So, let's get into this movie, because I really want to talk about it. So, what did I think about Venom? I actually did a video, or, well, a tad bit of a video, like, earlier, like, when I got out of the movie, seeing it, and here's what I said about it. Okay, so... My friends and I, we just got out seeing the Venom movie, and it was really good. On a scale of 1 to 10 how I would rate this movie, I give it 7.5 out of 10. Mainly because I wish that this movie would be part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, and I, I just really wish that he had the, well, the giant white spider chest on his chest. And well, I just, well, it's just, well... I'll admit, I, I really like it. Venom's one of my favorite uh, Spider-Man villains. And that's another thing, uh, not a spoiler, but I just wish that Spider-Man would be in the movie because how are you going to make a Venom movie like without Spider-Man? Because, come on. I mean, Spider-Man's the reason Venom's around. Yeah, that's what I thought about Venom. I mean, so basically, I mean, critics and people have been going all 50-50 on this movie. I mean, mainly because, I mean, it's a supervillain movie that, in a way, it's a little, feels a little relates like a Suicide Squad vibe going on, where this is like a supervillain movie, which technically it is, but feels more anti-hero-like. So, there's that, and, uh, I'll admit, Tom Hardy was a great actor. Well, he is a great actor. He's gone from being Bane from Dark Knight Rises to almost playing Rick Flag in the Suicide Squad, and well, now he's Venom, my favorite Spider-Man villain. And yeah, I mean, I think he was a perfect choice to be, well, Eddie Brock and Venom. I mean, he knows how to nail both characters, kind of like Tom Holland being, well, both Spider-Man and Peter Parker. And yeah, that's, that's kind of the thing about, well, actors having their role playing their characters when they're being superheroes or villains. And now I'd like to talk about the main villain of the movie, and that would be Riot. Yeah, Riot, I mean, he's cool, and he's awesome, and I'm just not as, I just, well, he is not that popular in comics, but I'm really glad that he got some on-screen action, which is cool, and fine by me, because, well, let's just say Riot, well, he could be a little underrated, but he's cool. And finally, I'd like to talk about the CGI in the movie. And don't get me wrong, it's really good, but here's what I thought about it. But yeah, I mean, the CGI in this movie, I mean, it was really cool, it was really good, it was very cinematic. I thought it was handled perfectly. I mean, they know what they're doing. Direct directors and creators know what they're doing when they're like making like a superhero or supervillain movie. And yeah, I mean, they know how to treat Venom, because, well, I'll admit, it, this movie was PG-13, but, and don't worry, spoiler free, but it feels very rated R, mainly because of the language and, well, there's gonna be some killing in the movie, a lot of, well, scary stuff, and I'll be honest, there are a couple jump scares in the movie, and I'll be honest, I hate jump scares, especially cheap ones. As, or ones that keep happening every five seconds, like going, ah, 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 like that. I mean, but don't worry, the jump scares in this movie, I'm okay with the jump scares. I mean, I'll admit I hate them, but, like, when they're delivered, I like, I only like them when they're delivered in a proper way, or in a good way. Yeah, and uh, when you see the Venom movie, you'll get the picture of what I mean by jump scares. But yeah, I mean... Now, there are, like, things in the movie that feel like they're rated R, but this is a PG-13 movie. So, that's basically, and that's honestly basically everything I could say about the Venom movie. And one thing I will say, and I, don't worry, I won't spoil it, but there are two end credit scenes, well, post credit scenes. One of them for, well, 
and Venom sequel that might happen, and uh, something to do with Spider-Man on the last one. Okay, Spider-Man is Spider-Verse. It's either, well, it's going to be something that has to do with Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse, and I'm really looking forward to that movie, and I'll be doing my thoughts slash review on that movie when it comes out on, on Christmas, so be on the lookout for that. And overall, sum up all my thoughts on this movie. Like I said, it's really good. I really like it. It's worth a watch. If you're a Spider-Man fan, superhero fan, or a Venom fan in any way, I highly recommend seeing this movie or waiting till it hits DVD. So, uh, yeah. I mean, like I said, 7.5 uh, out of 10. That's how I rate this movie. But yes, that's everything I can say about this movie. Don't worry. Yeah, that was everything I could say, so no spoilers. So, and please don't spoil in the comments. Because it would just be rude and mean to anyone who just reads the comments and doesn't know that's a spoiler. Okay, well, I really hope you guys like this video. Uh, please let me know what your thoughts on the movie were like. Let me know what you thought about Venom. I mean, but again, please don't spoil it in the comments below. What someone else reads them and they get mad. Please don't make that happen. But don't forget, to click on that bell so you're notified every time I upload a video, along with subscribing to this channel. And well, hit that thumbs up right there. And well, just so I know that you guys like this video. And uh, don't forget, to follow me on social media. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Cosplay Mino, and Snapchat. And till next time, guys. This is Dr. Rambat Prime 2.0 signing off. Happy Villains Month, and I will see you guys in my next video. We will eat both your arms, and then both your legs, and then we will eat your face right off your head. You will be this armless, legless, faceless thing, won't you? Going down the streets like a turd in the wind, because we...